What exactly is Windy Fields? Windy Fields consists of two geometry node setups and an asset pack of realistic low-poly plants. Windy Fields is designed to easily create realistic meadows and fields with high-performance wind simulations. To use the geometry nodes, first, prepare collections of plants you want to scatter. To move plants to a collection, select the plants, then press M and choose New Collection. You can use the provided plants from the asset library or your own models. Here I prepared two collections. Let's look at the Windy Field on Surface Node group. This node setup allows you to turn any ground object into a field. Simply drag the node group from the asset browser onto your desired ground object. The settings for the geometry node setup can be found in the modifier properties. The setup provides up to four layers to scatter different collections of plants. With the collection input you can assign a collection of plants to the current layer. Let's do this for two layers. Clusters enables the formation of plant clusters. Cluster coverage determines how much area the clusters cover. Cluster variation controls the shape of the clusters. Cluster scale determines how big individual clusters are. Cluster soft edges adjusts the smoothness of the edges of the clusters. In the master settings you can adjust some general settings that affect all layers. If you want to use a custom vertex group to control your field, click the icon to the right side of selection and choose your vertex group. The vertex group must be called something other than group. Down in the wind settings, you can control all properties of the wind. The breeze settings control the constant soft breeze. The gust settings control the wind waves that move through your fields. To fine tune your fields, you can assign a remover collection. objects, or curves in the remover collection. We'll delete all plants within the chosen range. Now let's look at the curve to windy field node. It transforms any curve into adjustable fields. Three preset curves act as a starting point. Simply drag a preset curve from the asset browser into your scene. Most settings are identical to the windy field on surface node group but there are a few differences in the master settings. Surface adherence enables the plants to conform tightly to the underlying surface object. A surface object must be set first. Curve pointiness determines the tapering of the curve. Keep in mind that this requires a curve with at least three control points.